Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Hello, how are you? Guys, I want to say to you guys, I've, uh, sacrifices. Sacrifices you make for your watches. I got to tell you, quick, 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 wristwatch check. I'm wearing my 5196. 5196. Absolutely love this baby. Sacrifices that we make, guys. I just yesterday, let me tell you, let me tell you. I use Lowe's, Lowe's reward card. That's correct. That's where I shop. Very, very down market for casual clothes. Like, this is for off-screen gear, like pants, stuff like that. Lowe's Rewards Club. That's where I shop, guys. I just got a new pair of pants. Lowe's. And I owe you. Benny to rocks is difficult. It is extremely difficult. This, this is my to thray so i just cut it off okay uh this is the pants that i've worn this is the sacrifices look at the yeah they have i will not get new pants until they got holes in the old one okay that's how it is guys the sacrifices I make for my collection. I would love to get the LV box. Can't afford it at the moment. I can't afford it at the moment. It'll come, hopefully. Let's post a link. Let's get the crew on board here. Let's get the... Make me a Marco. Make me a Marco. Come on, guys. Come enjoy the show. Sacrifices that you make. Sacrifices. I've made a lot of sacrifices. I got a lot of sacrifices. A lot of sacrifices. By the way, guys, for $2 Super Chat, you can buy me a piece of licorice. Dara Lee licorice. That was my favorite. That was my favorite. That was my favorite. I got to tell you guys, sensational seller. Love the cardigan. Love the cardigan. You should auction it. Let me tell you, this cardigan here, my first wife bought me. I got this in the late 90s. I think 97, 98. And I got to tell you, it came from, I think it came from Target or Big W. It came from Big W. It's got a few holes in it. But so what? And it's missing. It is actually missing. It was missing. I lost one of the buttons years ago. Okay. It does matter. Because I make sacrifices so that I can wear Rolex. Simple as that. It is a expensive hobby. We're in horology. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. It was never meant to be cheap. Van Lux. Van Lux, man. Thank you. One piece of licorice. One piece of licorice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I'm just trying to find a toothpick. These licorices are a bit slimy. They've been in my cupboard for about, ah, oh, three years, I think. They're a little bit, they're gone a little bit. What's the best thing I can get out of here? Let's have a look. I'll just use the knife. The blade. I'll use the blade. Piece of licorice.
By the way, guys, a great treat is you can freeze these in the freezer. One piece of beautiful licorice. Licorice. Mmm. Mmm. Don't gobble it. Just suck it. Suck it. Mmm. Van Lux. Thank you. Yankee Doodle, two dollars. I think that's for another licorice. Yankee Doodle's asking, is that cotton or cashmere? It's poly. Poly wool blend. Poly. Poly. It's poly. 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 Polyester and wool. Sensational seller, two pounds. I think that's another licorice. It's a little bit slimy, this licorice. Sensational seller, two pounds. I only weigh 60 Ks and would wear it like a robe. Hey, What's, Lolex, how are you? Just wanted to come on and say hi. I'm wondering where everyone is today. Everyone's a little busy. Hey, man, I love that Instagram. You're oh, you saw my Instagram? Mm. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out. driving the vintage Porsche yesterday. What happened? Uh, it's my dad's, yeah. What? How did it? Where did it? What's the story? Tell me the story <laughs> on this. How rich yeah. is your family? Ah, come on now. Uh, he's had it for a while. I think he got it in 2001, 1999. Wow. He's had it for a while. But yeah, okay, I, I we... won't go, oh, go on, Arch. Go on. Okay, sorry, here we go. Lucy, Lucy Love Alvado, $10. Just bought a rose gold Daytona. Uh, Oyster Flex stick chocolate dial at retail. David W is offering me 38 Should I sell? is going to be for about 46. I paid 28. Chocolate dial Daytona Oyster Flex, solid gold. Would, um, look, look, Lucy, it depends. It depends what you want to do with the money. Do you want to get out of it? Uh, look, look, Daytonas are going crazy. In the UK, prices are the money. Absolutely incredible. They are crazy prices. So it depends what you want to do with it. It depends. Do you like licorice, by the way? You know what I really like? Um, that strawberry so, licorice. I don't know. Ah, what raspberry. Li I love oh, that stuff. I love that stuff. Yeah, I, I particularly like this liquid. This has been sitting in my cupboard for about two or three years. It's gone a little bit, you know. Nice. It's just, it's just <laughs> amazing. That's hilarious. You like black licorice? It's like the corn dogs. They're better when they've been sitting in the hot box for half the day. Mm-hmm. Well you know said. what I mean? Well said, my friend. Um, so what's going on? I saw that photo you put today. Very cool. How are you liking the wolf box? Ah, uh, I got it. Let me tell you about that in a minute. Yeah. Would I sell it? I'm just thinking about this Daytona question. Oh. Look, what do you want to buy with the money? It's a good time to sell. If you want to get out of it, hey, it's nothing bad about making a profit, let me tell you that. But you won't be easily able to get into Rolex. That's the problem. You sell it. Personally, it depends if you need the money or not. Yeah. You know, my best friend told me the same thing about Speedmasters today. He thinks they're going to go down in price again. So he's like, But who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Who yeah. cares if, if you if you love it and you wear it? Who cares? Yeah, exactly. But he but if you wanted to get out of a Speedmaster, right now would be the time for sure. Yankee Doodle, five bucks. Archie, you need merino wool or cashmere sweater to go with those luxury watches. These are the sacrifices I make. I I wear my clothes until they're thread born. And you know, I shop. I shop at Lowe's. Lowe's is a menswear store in Australia. 
it's kind of the the low end. It's the Wait, low end of discount. Bowls stores. is a is a clothing store in Australia. Yeah, it's a very discount. At that's Lowe's. A, that's yeah. a hardware store in the U.S. Lowe's is uh, a hardware store. Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, look, I got to tell you seriously. You know what? So, I like the Wolf Box. I love the LV Box. Yes. Look, if I had the money, I'd buy it. Okay. I really would. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. It's, it's a lot. lot of money. Um, so, you know, it's one of these things. It's a lot of money and it's, it's, it's a lot of money. So I got to be careful with my, you know, it's, it's, you've just got to, you got to space this stuff out. It's not always easy to get what you want. You've got to realize that. But do you really want it though? Be honest with yourself. Do you really want the watch box? Yeah, I do. Oh, well then there you go. <laughs> go get it. What are you doing? Well, no, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. How am I going to buy it? They're going to go in there and say, excuse me, would you take a payment plan? I think I think you know what you need to do, Arch. You know exactly what you need to do. Yeah, look, look. I tell you honestly, people have made some donations. I'm just going to play it cool. Okay. I'm just, I, I don't need to be in a rush. I, look, I, I'll be honest with you. The Wolf Box is actually pretty damn nice. I think it's nice. I think it looks it's, cool. Because the Wolf Box, everyone's criticizing this vegan leather. Mm -hmm. The LV box, that's a canvas. It's a vinyl -y sort of canvas anyhow. So that's that's not terrible. The thing I like about the Wolf box is it resembles the Rolex greens. Yeah. You know, from the, you know that's the kind mm -hmm. of... Now, today's photo, I changed the... I put the paddocks in the front. Mm -hmm. I changed the, the order. Do you think that looks better? Yeah, I do. I do. Or do you think it looked better... Yeah. When I I had the uh, I'm just having a look. What have I? What did I do? What's it? going on? Um, there we go. That that was the other day. See that yeah. that's the other day. I had that's the paddocks at the top. I like the other way. I like it the other way around. You like the the Rolex yeah, is at the front. It highlights everything really well. You see everything from a great perspective. I think it looks great. Yeah, yeah. So we got some super chats here, Arch. We got some super chats. Okay, here we. Go. Here we go. We got REG. Your wolf box is beautiful. You don't need the LV. Very fair point. Very good shout out to REG. One piece yeah. of licorice there. One piece of licorice for for REG. REG has a great date just forty one. He was showing it to us yesterday. I really like his date just. It's a white dial. You don't see a lot of those. Very cool. Vince Lamaranti. La Martina, two dollars. Just bought the ugliest Tudor, the Black Bay P01. Thoughts? I actually like it. I think it's funky. It was a prototype. I actually like it. Mm. I like it. I've never seen it. I got to look it up. It's about Mark. It's the one it. that has the. It locks in from the the claw at at the the. the the end bits of the watch is what locks oh, it in. Oh, I've seen those. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here yeah. we go. Paul, £2.30. Do you think Coach New York is a good brand for men? Coach? Coach is quite... That's a great... That's a ladies purse maker. They make some men's stuff. Nothing wrong with Coach. I know nothing <laughs> Nothing about Coach. Nothing. Yeah, it's, it's not as expensive as LV, but it's... Yeah. Very honest stuff. Hmm. There you go. American you luxury go. brand. It's so weird. In this photo, your Speedmaster almost looks blue, sort of. The ring around it has like a blue tinge to it. Yeah, i, I got to play around with the lighting a bit. This is just some quick and dirty photos I took there. But um, i got to tell you, seriously, I had someone who wanted to buy my 5196. What did you say? Mm. What did he I offer? Quoted, I quoted him a high price because I, I don't really want to sell it. Yeah. And he said, oh, you quoted lower before. And I said, look, here's a price. And I, and I thought about it. You know what? I don't think I want to sell it. What did... Okay. If you don't want to sell it, you don't want to sell it. That's what it is at the end of the day. If you like it, you like it. Mm. You're going to end up getting rid of it and then getting it later down the line. That's what's going to happen. 
you're going to pay more. So just keep it. You like it? Yeah, I think that's right. It's a full set. You said you what? Go on. Tell me the story of your dad's Porsche. So, how old were you when he got the Porsche? Eight, seven, or eight. Wow. Very a long time ago. And uh, yeah, he's always just taken care of it. It's garaged it. He's, it's never how many K, it. How many miles has it got on it now? Oh, I didn't even I didn't even look at it because I haven't been home for a while. So I'm sure it's got some good miles on it. Your dad's got a nice house as well. Yeah, I've, I grew up there. He, that's in California. Yeah. Like, isn't real estate kind of ridiculous? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right now, you you read a lot of stories. I, I have a friend who. Just bought a house and he had to pay twenty thousand dollars over asking, and there was something like eight or nine bidders. Right now, it's the worst time to buy real estate. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Horrible. Just bringing up a photo of this amazing Porsche. Yeah. There we go. There you it is. Instagram it? and you your Instagram it? handle, just to promote your Instagram handle, oh, is you. live with Lolax. Live. Look at this photo here. Look at mm. that Porsche. So this is, what year is this? Oh, what is it? It's a 1980 something, late 80s Porsche. I, I honestly- No mileage? Uh, dude, I told you, I don't know what the mileage is on it. This is a 911. Know. Yeah. Have you ever yes. seen the Fer movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yes. Do you remember Cameron's dad with his Ferrari and he said, yes. if you touch it, I will disown you. Yes. That was this growing up. Do you understand that? I've never, really messed around with it. That was his car. Wait, he said that to you? Well, yeah, not in so many words. But it was never like, don't touch it, don't bring drinks in it. That was his car. Oh, you can't drink in a car. What, what the hell are you doing bringing drinks in? Who's ML's in the back there? It's my mother's. Mm. What does your dad do for a living? He's retired. What did he used to do? Real estate. My ah, car. real estate. I love that blue, by the way. Yeah, very beautiful. Very beautiful. This is a manual, of course. Of course. Can you drive it? Yeah. I just got the PDK because it was there. I didn't really, I wasn't picky about it when I got mine. What did, didn't you used to say that when you used to go to the Porsche dealership, you used to test drive, what was it, the 98 something? The flat nose. No. I, 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 I test drove many cars. They wouldn't let me drive the Porsche. Okay. No, but you said that you would ask specifically to drive this one model because it was the least expensive. 968. The 968s. There we yeah. go. The 968 Porsche. I think, yeah. They were a carry-on from the 944s. The 95 ones. Man. Those are, that's the car that Tony, Montan Tony Montana got in Scarface. I remember that. They're, they're a great car. Look. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. I went to see my brother yesterday. You have a brother? Yeah. You have a and as I was driving out, I scratched the bumper on my Civic. That sucks. But that's one of the nice things about having a beater, a Civic. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I thought to myself, you know what? It's just as well I don't have a Lexus or a Porsche. Yeah, yeah. I would be so pissed. Yeah, you would be pissed off. But now I don't really care. Yeah. I'm more concerned about damage to his fence. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> Wait, how old's your brother? Stone, 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 stone fence. Brick, old, brick fence. How old's your brother? He's four years younger than me. What does he do? I don't want to go into it on air, but okay. look. He's, um, he's great. He's a great guy. We've That's made good. our peace. He's, he's a good guy. He's Ooh. a good guy. But let me tell you this. Oh. You know what? What's up? I tell you what, I really think for me, I got a friend of mine. Let me tell you a story. He's got 59 watches. Bear Clooney. Mm. Bear Clooney watches $2. Fake me dead. Lolex is loaded. Mm. He will get you great whiskey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly. I think the Macallan 12 would be perfect. I think the Macallan yeah. 12. It's the same price as the gold. Yeah, so, I think I, I thought about it. You know what? Yeah, I think that's the one. Let me say this to you. My friend of mine, yeah. he's got 59 watches. He's, so, he's always buying and selling. And 
I kind of get sus with that because I don't think he's a true enthusiast. If you were buying and selling, I really love my yeah. watches. Okay. Oh, you're talking about the watches, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really love my watches. And I, I got to tell you something. He just bought, he did a deal. He sold an Explorer 2 and put in money to get the Vacheron 3 hand Gen 3. I can show okay. you a picture of it. Do you want to see a picture of it? Yeah, yeah, pull it up. Okay. So he just got this. I'll show you what he got. Okay. Actually, he got two watches. You, you want me to show you the two watches he got? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the first one is a Lalex. Lalex, please. Okay. Right. Okay. Lolex. Wait, by Rolex. The way, Rolex. You Rolex. You haven't sent me any new songs in a while, man. I need to. I need to keep this playlist fresh. You got to okay. add things. You got to take stuff okay. out. Uh, here we go. Just going to bring this up. Here we go. Share. Here we go. So this is what he got yesterday. So that's a thirty-six mm. mil green dial. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Suckerhorn! Suckerhorn's in the house. Hello, the Suckerhorn. Bear Clooney, $2. Legend is here. Suckerhorn! Anyhow, this guy, he got this green dial Daytona. Mm -hmm. They're expensive now. They used to be. They are. This is what, a, the green dial's a bit rare. Right what are they trading out right now? Well, he paid Aussie dollars. He paid low forties for it. Wow, that's like thirty-five US. That's a respectable car, right there. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's a thirty-six mil. By the way, and what else? Sorry, I'll tell you what else he got? I didn't mean to cut you off, Arch. Real quick, did you hear Drew got a got his first Rolex? He got a date just sixteen oh one. Very cool. Beautiful. They're a great watch. Nothing wrong with that. Great first Rolex. I always say that. And he also got another watch. Oh, yes. Which, see, yeah. I'm going to show you this watch here, okay? Bear, Bear loves these. Okay, Bear loves these. So I'm going to bring this up. Da 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 da. Oh, the overseas. That's been a that's been a big topic of conversation on Tim's stream a lot lately. The overseas. Yeah, so this is a Gen 3. Yeah. But this was high money. These are not cheap. And guess yeah. what else he did? This is he actually rang the AD and he's also ordered. So he got this one in a trade deal with an Explorer 2. Mm -hmm. Explorer 2 and Cash. And then he's ordered the white dial one from 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 the VC dealer. What do you think about these overseas? It's your money. If you're playing with your money, what do you think about them? Look, look, I um, I uh, one last piece of licorice, guys. Last piece. You're blowing. Licorice dial, out. licorice. Look at the black matches the 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 um. The black dial. Yeah. There you go. All gone. That was aged for three years in my cupboard. Ah. Hey, can you throw, can you throw JJ the link, Archie? Oh, sorry. But uh, yeah, I gotta hop off soon anyways, I'm still on working. No worries. Okay, just very quickly there, let me say this to you. He bought another one from the dealer. What do I think of them? You know what? <laughs> this is the same guy who offered me a Gen 2 for a third of the price of this one. I cannot see the Gen 2 being that inferior. Does that make sense? What's the what's the difference between them? I know Mark. Well, would, the yeah. Gen 3's got a in-house movement, whereas the other one's got a JJ ah. Lecout movement. Ah. Hey, up, REG. How's it going? Um, I got to be totally honest you. with you. Mm -hmm. I can't see... It, this is this is like a thirty thousand Aussie low twenties US watch. I can't see it. I find it hard. I find it hard to. These have always been soft in my. I remember when they weren't that wanted. What do you think is an appropriate price for these? Tens. Look, the thing is. Are you muted? By the way. It looks like oh, there's hello? nothing. Hi. Do you hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, we can read. Look, I got to tell you, I think appropriate price for these things is well. They, look, they are what they are. The market sort of priced it. I just think, are they that superior to the Gen oh, Two? Yeah. yeah, that's what yes. I find hard. I think they are. Ross, not, not Rachel Brady. Ross, Rachel Brady. Five bucks. Arch, your thoughts on the Rolex Air Kings? Underrated or overrated? Air King is an amazing watch. Absolutely love that watch. It's basically a Milgauss case. It is amazing. I love the green and the gold writing. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Don't muck around. They are absolutely... They're a sports watch. Get it. Don't muck around. Get it. So how Get do you it. compare it in terms of looks to other Rolexes, aren't you? Like the Rolex well, it's, 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 look, it's quirky. Mm -hmm. It's quirky, but... It's it, it it is hey JJ, how are you? I am doing well, thank you. How about you? What do you think of this Vacheron here? I like the Gen 3 arch. I like the plinth underneath. I like the way it's built up. Yeah, but do you like, like it three times as much? Because that's what he paid for it. Um Okay, that was a naked Gen 2 white dial. But this like was that. effectively three times the price. Right. Uh Tell you the truth, the only one I'd probably buy right now is the new uh, Gen 3 Dual Time. That's the one I like. Because they got three of them. They got the Dual Time, they got the Chronograph, and they got the three-hander. Right. The Chronograph's a little big, though, right? It's like 44 mil or something He's like got that. the Chronograph. My friend has got the Chronograph with the blue dial. Mm -hmm. Now, are they making that boutique only? I think. Yep. Blue dial is boutique only which I kind of think is bullshit. I don't know what you think. I think it's kind of... I think if you give this a few months, you'll get a black dial dual time for a good deal, and I think that's going to be best bang per buck. That's my plan anyway. Yeah. Not much here. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. David SW has a silver dial, I think, for a pretty, pretty good price, the dual time. Gen 2 or Gen 3? Gen 3. Gen 3, wow. I think it's about 20,000, I'm going to say. I like the dual time. That's a nice complication. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think that's my favorite complication on the overseas line. I like it better than the chronograph. Yes. Chronograph yeah, is just it's too, very it's nice, just a little too large. If, if they couldn't fit it in, in, in a 40 mil case or 42 mil at least... I mean, I, I don't know. Did they have to go 44? It's kind of... Here we go. We've got a super chat here from Yankee. If you need to go, Lolex, just jump off the stream, man. Just jump off. Lol Yankee Doodle, $2. JJ, your thoughts on Ethereum? Just bought 30. Uh, well, I mean, you bought it at the highest it's ever been. But, I mean, in my opinion, it's the best to invest in right now. I think it's gonna it's gonna go up faster than Bitcoin at this at this point from this point forward. I think it's the safest and most uh, it's gonna go up the most. Relatively safe, yeah. at least compared to. Mm. Well, yeah, I'd, really. I'd, I'd like to throw to my two cents in. It's crypto crap. Stay away from this garbage. It's an algorithm. Yeah. It doesn't exist. No country has made it. All you need is a couple of governments to outlaw it because they can't tax it, and it's gone. It's an algorithm. Big deal. I, I think I don't. That's I know. Why... Sorry, go ahead, Ari. It to me, again, I'm a bit. Of, I, know, I poo poo on it. It's a bit of an unregulated Ponzi scheme, basically. And so, you know, people have made money on it. Absolutely. I mean, but it's it's really it's really really risky. You better have been just spending, in my opinion, your fun money, quote unquote, and not what you're using to pay for your house. That's that's my take on it. If you want to play with your fun money, Godspeed to you. I just it's, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's not backed by anything real. It's not regulated. Uh, you, know, you know, if people can manipulate it, it's it makes me uncomfortable. You know, everything you just said is basically the same as fiat currency. It can be manipulated. It has nothing <laughs> back in it. Um, right. Right. You know, I'm just, I'm just being playing devil's advocate here. I mean, yeah. as you should. Are you, are you an MMT man? JJ, what's that? MMT? Modern monetary theory. Oh, uh, no, we don't need to borrow money. We can just print it. 
I, any I sovereign at... con- sovereign currency can print their own money and supply their own resort they can they can out they can do whatever they want right and then you'll have like venezuela when they were carrying wheelbarrows of money to pick up a, a box of fruit you know? no because it it it's it's it actually it doesn't quite go that way it's actually quite interesting concept it's actually it just shows you that governments we live in a oh someone's who the hell is trying to ring me at this I, time don't get me wrong the aspirations around cryptocurrency oh, i think are, are great and i think there's you know there's a lot of great potential there it's just a little too wild west for my taste right now i'm not saying that we shouldn't be going in this direction here we go I got super chat in let me get this here yankee doodle I just bought it two days. I'm up four thousand dollars. Yankee Doodle, fantastic. Good for you, Good for you. Ryan Woodman. Ryan Woodman, two dollars. Arch, I bought in 2017 and bought a house with profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm far too late. Far too. You, you're a hundred percent right. You are a hundred percent right. Look, I, I, I. You're not going to win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. Remember that. True. Right. Right. Well, okay. I look at it this way. I think the people who say they're too late are crazy. I think we're just starting to to turn on the S curve. We're nowhere near its potential if it does uh, get adopted. Uh, the question is, will it be adopted? Um, you know, I don't know, and I don't put all of my money in. But I think if you put between one and five percent of your net worth into it, <laughs> it's a pretty safe. Uh, Burbing you know. hard. How are you, my friend? Good. How you doing, Arch? Hey, crypto crap. We're talking cryptos. You a crypto man? Absolutely not. Yeah, him and, I, him and I are in complete alignment on that. It's garbage. I, I totally get it. You know, I think it's I think it's highly risky. As you said there, Ari, unregulated. It's, manip- it's just so much of that there is just um, below. Anyhow, I went into that BitConnect and I did my $1,000. Okay. That's fine. It's a you know, if you I'm win, you win, you lose, you lose. That, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, JJ, you have a, you know the percentages you said. If you're going to be in it, at least it's not like fifty percent of your portfolio. So one to five no. percent is. Well, well the people like, who fine. are borrowing to put into it, they're borrowing money yeah. they don't have to put into it. Ari, that's crazy. That's craziness. That's nuts. I that's I look nuts. at it like this. Let's say the dollar collapses, right? Like the like I'm just going total extreme. Let's say the dollar collapses and crypto takes off. 5% of your net worth is all you need to recover. You know what I mean? If that was the case. That's all. It's just really a hedge. It's a hedge. Um, anything that goes up is is a bonus in my eyes. Right. Um, to me, the 5%, it, it's worth the risk. I, I can afford the to- risk tolerance. So, you know, but I wouldn't be borrowing money to buy like Dogecoin. I think that's like crazy. You know, it, I, know it, I know a guy that's doing that. I'm, I'm 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 happy for I'm happy for anyone that that makes a killing on it, but it's not not in my portfolio at all. I gotta I tell like- you guys, look, it is what it is. Let's get back to watches, baby. Let's get back to the watch talk. Another. Head I got a friend head. of mine. I think he's too much. He's addicted to buying. He just got this black dial, and then he rang the boot the 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 dealer and said, "Hey, I'll take a white one." as well and i said oh why dial variations when you start to buy dial variations i think you got too many mm. or, or or did he find the one that he loves like he found the one he loves and it's like hey this is like you know this is the best this is the guy with 59 watches okay mm. uh okay maybe he hasn't found the one he he loves because a, a, a girl that gets two birkins it's like okay she found she found the purse she really likes Time, time, time to get multiple colors, right? Yeah. CL2 dollars, which could Rolex watches be a currency? Well, they, they basically are a hedge. Right. They basically are a, you can, they're international currency. You, you can take them anywhere. They're easy to transport. L- like a vehicle, a motor car is difficult to transport. You've got, you got left hand drive, right hand drive, special market versions. Rolexes aren't like that. Rolexes are international commodity. Um, it's a great place I, to park your money. It's a great it, place to park well, money. Well, the problem at the moment is we've got 
supposedly very low inflation, which I think is a con. I think the, the, the guys are actually, in my country, cars are selling over retail. Certain things are so difficult to get. You've got to have inflation. Of, the cost of building materials has tripled. Uh, you can't even, uh, uh, you know, cost of uh, hardware is up. Computer hardware is up. Lumber, um, I don't know how they're calculating inflation, yeah. but there's no way it's like 1% or whatever BS that they're telling us. It's much higher. Oh, no, they're, 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 totally, they're totally lying to us. Lumber is up ridiculous. Steel is yes. up ridiculous. Amount. Yes. I yes. Mean, they can't even keep up with the amount of homes being built. The reason all these homes are being built is because there's just so much money flooding, you know, the uh, economy that – The stimulus. You know, right. Yeah. People are buying homes at record paces. I mean, and this is not like the housing bubble of 08 that happened in the U.S., it's not that they're giving loans to people who are underwater or can't, can't afford it. People have the money. They're, they're putting up cash for these homes. You know, houses are going 30000 over asking, like, and selling in That's two days. Nothing. In, in Ontario, in uh, Toronto area here, you're, you're getting homes going for 100 k 200 k over asking. There are bidding wars on certain houses. I mean, it's absolutely, it's absolutely nuts. I feel bad for new people, for uh, young couples trying to get into the market. Right. Off of this is where all the inflation lies that they're not telling you about. Exactly, exactly. But I got to tell you, Birbinghard. Yeah. Hello, Birbinghard. Yeah. What's up? I have come to the realization. My friend of mine with 59 watches, he got this beautiful, absolutely beautiful watch. And then he tells me he wants the white one. And I think, you know what? I think you might have too many. Birbinghard, let me say this to you. I think I'm done. As far as I'd say, no. I'm you're, break, you're, you're breaking our heart. You're breaking our heart. Ninety percent done. Look at this here. This is my collection now. I think oh, I'm ninety percent done, guys. You, you ninety. Switched, you switched them around. You put the Rolex on top now, huh? Yep. Yeah, 90% done. Look at that. I mean, seriously. Ari, mm. can you see that I could be quite happy with that if I never got another watch? I would be happy with half this collection, if I'm being honest. I would be happy with half a, a collection, half this size. Sell it off, pay off some of your debts, pick, pick really great watches, and, and, keep, and uh, keep those. My opinion. I mean, these are beautiful watches. There's nothing here in bad taste at all. You Clearly, you know what you're doing, but you have, I think you have oh. too many. That's my opinion. But tens, look, if you're going to, that's, here we go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, two euros. Your friend is going to stop at 69 watches. I'm not sure. Hmm. He sells some, he buys some, he's just, <laughs> JJ, what do you think? If I stopped at this number here, what do you think? Oh, I mean, you, you got everything you need here. I mean, you could do a little tweaking, but you don't mm. have to. Everything is fine. I mean, I, could I just give you an, a little idea? A one, sure. One, sure. Please, please, please speak let's, freely. Let, let's say the burgundy goes, the plepsi comes in. Yeah, um, right. That's, that's fair enough. That can be done. And let's say possibly... Uh, the annual calendar and the white gold Calatrava go, and an LV box appears. I think that could be a, that could be a magical eight. I mean, but that's not necessary. I think you, you have a beautiful collection idea. Aren't you have you everything up, you could ever need here. Bring up Marco's post. Marco's post. Marco's yeah. last uh, message here. He's here talking about go. the Archie oh, here Five. We go. Here yeah. we go. The Archie Five Sub Reverso. 5127, that's the white gold one next to it here. Speedy and Pepsi. That is it. No, Sub Reverso. Speedy. Sub Reverso Speedy. 5127. Do, 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 do. Pepsi. Hey, five, five's just a number, though, right? Like, hey, let's right. make it the Archie six and you can keep the mill gals. It could be six. Or, yes. The let me seven. ask. Yeah, let me ask you, Burbinghart. I really do value your conservative, your frugalness. By the way, what do you think of me shopping at Discount Men's Store for pants? 
I've never, I've never been there. It's how, kind of the spent, low how, end how of low end of low how, end retailing. Is well, that a cool, it is that equivalent so, to a Walmart? It's lower than a Walmart. No way. Yeah. Uh, it's but it, but look, you know what? So it's like what? I like it because the guy who works there is three times the size of me, so no more fat shaming. And you just go there, get your pants, try them on. Yep, I'll take them. That's it. Do do you do you do uh, like custom tailoring at all? Like, would you would you Look, buy pa- like cheaper pants and then get them tailored? No, they kind of fit. They're okay. They're okay. Just very quickly, Burbing Hard, this collection here. What should I do? Tell me what I should do. What's your opinion? Uh, yeah, I think that you don't need any more. I think hmm. at this point, it's like it's just a, a matter of refinement. Like, yeah. Look, if the Pepsi comes, I would love the Pepsi. Of course, I would love the Pepsi. And interestingly enough, I'm using the burgundy to have the red in the collection. Do you notice that? Yep. Mm-hmm. With the Pepsi, it's got the red, so I could yep. substitute that. Why do you have the Tudor? The Tudor? Discount yeah. Diver. Marco said I needed a discount diver. That's why I got the Tudor. Wow. Discount, oh, discount. And no, I tell you why. It, look, look. And the potential of it being discontinued. Yeah, I fight that one up, okay? Well. Look, it was offered to me, and I kind of, I got it at a discount. It's brand new. Why do I have the Tudor? Okay. Why do I have the Tudor? I'm just, I'm trying to answer your question. Um, well, you could always sell it for what you paid. I mean, it's not like you're going to yeah. lose. No, no. I got it at a discount, 15% off. That's good. Yeah. In my country, it's $5,150. That's retail. I paid $4,400. What's that's that not percentage bad. wise? 12 and a half percent or something. I'm sure, I'm sure you could sell it and break even or lose maybe a hundred bucks at most. I, I don't yeah, think look, I don't hate the, um, by the way, when, when I scraped into that wall, I was wearing the Tudor. I think the Tudor's jinxed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's cursed. If I was wearing my Milgaus, I would, that, that would not have happened. If you were going to keep a Kyle Trava, I'd keep the 5196 and have a yellow gold. I wouldn't keep white gold when you have the reverso. I would want a different look, you know? You know what? I'm kind of thinking I would love to get that LV box, JJ. You know what? I'm going to wait until I can afford it, okay? I agree. There you go. You can so, still only fit eight in there. So <laughs> not that I want you to get more watches, but I yes. noticed something that's a little bit conspicuously absent. I don't see any rose gold here. Is that on purpose? Beggars can't be choosers, Ari. Okay, fair. I wasn't sure if that was by design. I wasn't sure if that was by design. I wasn't by design. Yeah. I, I would have liked to have the three medals, white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, but hey, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't to be. You, get, you yeah. know what I mean? It just, mm-hmm. it's just, it's kind of, I didn't plan on leaving it out, but it just, <coughs> it's, I got to tell you, I think to be honest with you, I had a guy who wanted to buy my 5196 yesterday and I, I just emailed him before the show and said, don't worry about it. I quoted him a higher price and he said, oh, right. he wasn't. I said, look, just forget it. Don't worry about it. I said, I, I don't really want to sell it. You don't want to pay my new price. <clears throat> just just leave it. Marco, get a 5107, 5107G arch. The 5107 is the archie. <clears throat> I think the 5127 is near enough. I think it's near enough. It's too much hassle. Do you know how hard it is to sell paddock in australia we're an uneducated type of market yeah, you were saying that yesterday that you know. it's tough to sell these fine watches so there isn't it's, like a wa- like a watch finder or anything like that down there any you i guess you wouldn't sell it to a you'd want to sell it private they, they just don't have the market for this stuff like right. we're a country 25 million it's less than canada okay we have got there are some rich people here but it's uh, the real doc. We've got to end the show soon. The doc's just come on. Gentlemen. Hello. Hey, how are, how are you? Look, Very i got good. to be totally honest with you. 
I think I got enough. Enough. So, Here we go. Ryan Woodman, two dollars. Put LV box into Ethereum and get four boxes by December. Very, <laughs> very cool. He's so Ryan. So Arch, I, if, mm, let, let's say let's say you do YouTube for another ten years, right? So yes. like a ten yes, year yes. goal, and and you're starting yes. here. What yes. are some pieces that you would maybe want to upgrade, like over the next decade? Pieces out of here that. 10 years down the road you, okay then it's you're maybe in a different a different position look i'd possibly upgrade the tudor to the pepsi we've said right yeah. mm -hmm. let's look at it the you sub upgrade the man on the moon to well uh, let's look at this the sub i don't want to move the sub the sub's perfect right yep the explorer i'd, I'd preferably like to keep the explorer instead of selling it right. even, even, even if you had like even if you had a pepsi yeah, right. That, yep. that could be the like Milgaus. his beater, <laughs> you know. Yes. Beater. beater. The Milgauss is a great watch. I don't want to sell that. JJ, you back me up on that, won't you? No, yeah, you don't sell that. That's it, the only one with that green glass. Such a funky watch. That lightning bolt hand. That's just it's that's unique. a keeper. It's it's the Tudor. Yeah, the Tudor could go. Yeah. The Speedy. Keep it. Uh, you got to keep the Speedy. The Speedy, you got to keep it. I. I I sold them before. Like, Don't on, sell the Speedy. You already said last time you're never selling it again. Every time I'm never sell selling it, the Speedy. <laughs> but if you end up with like a Daytona, in ten no, years, I'd still right? keep ten the years. Speedy. Still, okay. still keep the Speedy. Fair I'd enough. Keep mine if I got it. If I got yeah, I, I wouldn't sell Bang mine. I, honestly, you, you know, Versus automatic. You know what? Um, Burbing Heart. I love the Speedy. Speedy's just wind and wear. It's beautiful. It's a great watch. Um, the reverso i don't want to sell the reverso i love the reverso then i got the four paddocks you know what the world time don't want to sell that <laughs> the annual i don't really want to sell that either then the two paddocks i got one manual and one auto perfect combo i i think looking at this box really what would i add if say the pepsi comes i'd like to buy the pepsi without having to part anything here okay what else would I like to do? But if but if you had ten years to sell those paddocks, right? So there's Ooh. no rush, right? You're not going to get beat up on on the price because yeah. But not... I kind of like them. Okay. Mm. All of them. So like you, wouldn't, you couldn't. You wouldn't, yeah. You couldn't put get rid some of one. Them into uh, a different like a, a different paddock. That, well, look, I, look, look. I kind of like it. I the world time and the annual. I'd like to keep. Yeah. And and I got to be honest with you. It's it's not even to wear them. It's just to I, I like to play with them. You know the one I love the most. I wear the most is the manual wind. Hmm. Just wind and wear. Don't have to. It doesn't have a date function to stuff up. Wind and wear. That's it. Off you go. And the Daytona has a different aesthetic than the Speedy. I don't know. It's like more flashy. The the, the Speedy is just a cool like. Space watch. I, I don't know. I, a totally different feel when I put it on. The, I, I got to tell you, I had the Daytona, the two tone. I loved it, but I, I, you've got those screw down crowns, screw down pushes are a bummer because mm. by the time you've unscrewed them, whatever you wanted to time has gone. Speaking of two tone, we have two tone Tim in the house. Two tone Tim, how are you, Tim? Not two tone guys. I wish I was, but. No two tone it's yet. It's not meant to be. What happened? Oh. Not a two tone. You bought stainless. I changed my mind. Yeah. Have, Wait, have you got? I, I can't afford the two tone. Let's be. Have honest. you got the steel? Yeah, I got the steel. Did you? Wait, you gonna show us? No. Oh, I'm saving what? it for. <laughs> I'm gonna so reveal you... it later. It's a thirty six. It's thirty six. You yeah. got it now. This is the new 36. The new 36. Nice. Really? Mm. Nice. So you bought all that ramen for nothing? No. Actually, <laughs> those are just food I, rations. For I have, you know, it cost $7,000 with taxes and everything. It's not for nothing. I'm broke. I'm broke. You know, I went to, I went to the AD over here today. I, I said, let me go check it out. Oh, yeah. what a waste of time. It's a little hole in the wall. They had they had uh, a day date with a black dial in the in the showcase, and a couple of small watches, uh, thirty seven mil yacht master, you know the usual yeah. suspects. Uh, you know, I just said, oh, you know, I'm new to the area, wanted to check out your shop. 
And the lady says, yes, we're the only Rolex authorized dealer in the whole county or whatever. Mm. I said, oh, you got the keys to the ship then, huh? She said, yes, we do. I said, this is all you have? She goes, let me guess, you want a professional model? I said, actually, with all the sunshine, I'd be interested in a two-tone Submariner with a blue Ooh. dial. Ooh. She said, those are all spoken for for our customers. I said, all wow. right, I'll buy one when I go back to New York. Thanks. And I walked around. No love there? No, she was uh, She was more wanted to brag about how all her watches were sold out. So Was she single? Oh, no, she was an older woman. And, I was about um, to say, does it I, even matter? I had my I had my Milgaus on. She goes, "Oh, that's a nice watch, by the way." I said, "Thank you. I have all the Rolex steel models." And I, nice. <laughs> I just wanted to piss her off. So nice, nice. I said, "I already so, have all those. I just wanted a two tone for a little fun." I said, "But uh, I said, I guess things have changed. I remember when you couldn't give those away without a discount." Yeah, things have changed. Very true. There. Very I'd say sometimes they're very nice, though. Um, there, there's a. Uh, an AD in Las Vegas. They didn't have anything, but they were still very nice about it. My AD is very nice. nice. She, she was, no, my, my yeah, I'm, listen, the two ADs I, I go to are very, very nice. This one was very, um, she was like fake nice, you know what I mean? She was very arrogant. Like, she couldn't wait to yeah. tell me how it was sold out. So, so she was nice. older and single, is what you're saying. Yeah, probably. My <laughs> husband probably hey, ran away. So we hey, got a flame. JJ, how is the love front going? Tell, tell us what's going on there. What's happening? Oh, not much. Not much. I've only been here a few days, Arch. You know, I mean, there's not. You're having the time of your life, aren't you? Yeah. There, not, if not you, much, Archie, if you want to see it. People on the home front about uh, any, uh, love, but yeah, I've been having a good time. I went fishing. Hey, you know, Tim the... got the, the 36 mil Explorer. But I have it. If you want it, you can bring it up. Uh, I, put, I, put, I put a picture. It's Where's a the tease. It's a little tease. Where's the picture? Yeah, it's I'm a picture of the bracelet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not just a bracelet. Come on. It's kind of boring. You know that? I yes. can't see. Where, where did you send the picture? I can't well, no, see no. It. It's, I'm sharing it right now. Can you? Where, where's the picture? On he the wants to be blown up. He wants to be. Oh, sorry. Blurry. In lights. <laughs> da -da -da -da. No, no, not. No, it's in the. It's down here where we are. Can't you see it? Down here where we are. In the privates? Has no. he been doing edibles again? <laughs> what are we talking there's about? A stream, there's a stream that there should be a, a I'm sharing a, a screen. I'm sharing a screen. In the uh, screen share. In the screen share, yeah. Oh, None of us one. can see it, but there you. There you go. Oh, oh you, so you tease. You tease. Got a small one. And, and, a little... and you passed up a sermon for this, huh, Tim? Yes. <laughs> it has a nicer bracelet than the than the sermon, right? Is that it? That's actually uh, nice. Yeah. How nice. do you find the 36 yeah. mil size? Tell me this. Make sure I this love is it. bigger. I freaking love it. And the, you know, there's just something about uh, the way they did it. The hands sit really close to the dial. And when you look at it from certain angles, it just pops. So you're saying it's drastically different from the previous 30, 30, um, 36 mil. It's got solid end floor. links. Solid end links, solid. solid bracelet. It's got the deployment clasp. It's got the safety lock. It hasn't got the glide lock, but does it? No glide lock, no glide lock. That's why I said the bracelet, the bracelet. But I mean, the 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 head is drastically different is the question. Yes. The, the, the glass sits really low. Burbinghard, I'm not jealous one bit of this watch. I don't know about you, Burbinghard. Tell me what you think. Oh, I think it's a, I think it's a beautiful watch. I'm not. It is, I, but I, I, I don't know. I, don't, I don't even want it. I don't want it. If it came I, up, I don't even want it. I mean, it's. I, I think I it's a beautiful it. watch. Not quite. I like prefer a bigger dial, but I think it's a beautiful watch. I sure. think you the had a choice of a thirty-six or a thirty-nine. What would you take? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. I, I think the thirty-six is going to be an issue for a lot of people. Mm. Thirty-nine Tim, was the, the important thing is you love it. All that I, matters, Tim. You've got. Right. You've actually got a very nice stable of watches. That's the original one that I wanted. I, I flipped onto a two-tone because of the ego. The ego got out of control. I think you're better off to stay with steel. I honestly That's right. think That's right. that is smart. That is, Even my AD was like, are you sure? Like, what? You want the two-tone? 
No Dude, one wants these to are Tony. these are going to be really collectible. Uh, uh, they and he's like, this is the first one we got into the store. Look at you. Must That's must really be nice. nice. Good for you. Nice How do you get that, Tim? What, what's the secret? What's the secret? No, no secret. No secret. Just, just so lucky. It's just luck, guys. It's just luck. See, because he, he's very lucky he That's sold it to Tim. Otherwise, his garbage are. wouldn't be collected for seven years. Yes. He's very <laughs> lucky. He's exactly. lucky to go home alive. It's yeah. <laughs> an extremely <laughs> nice shop you have here. He's It'd be a shame very not lucky to not to, to be hit by a big garbage truck. Exactly. <laughs> when people say very they're nice. very lucky, that means they, they have a secret to hide on. Yeah, no, that's okay. Look, look, good luck to him. Tim, yeah. I think you um it's a beautiful watch. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I actually I I, I had a 36 for a while and mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed it. I think I think they are a beautiful Rolex. And the funny thing is, you know. I said this to someone with my paddocks. They said, oh, you got a few smaller paddocks. I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. You don't want all big, oversized monsters. Yeah. You have a big one, medium one, a small one. You know, you want some variety, man. Exactly. Weird. I got That's the sub. I got the Explorer 2. So the sub is 40. I got the 42 Explorer 2. Mm -hmm. Then they got the Daytona, which is 38. And now this one is 36. Oh, the Daytona thing's 40, isn't it? No, I mean, it says it's 40, but when you take calipers and you measure it, it's actually 38. Yeah, but it's how the, it's kind of how they do the crown on it. It's I know, but it wears like a 38, trust me. But it uses a 20 bracelet. It does. But it's cut. It's cut showcase, like this. Showcase watches. Here we go. Speaking of cut, showcase watches, two <laughs> pounds. Congratulations, Tim. Explorer Brothers purist watches. Yes, purist watch. Yes, 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 totally, totally. I um, I gotta say, I, I love my Explorer, two Polar. I love that. Mm. I think that's a, a great watch. I gotta be totally honest with you. If I had a choice of the Milgau Sea Blue, or mm. an Explorer Thirty Nine, I'd go for the Z Blue. Mm. What do you mm. think, JJ? I did. I actually did exactly what you said. Yeah. I, I went. Even, even though the Explorer is actually quite valuable now because they've they've dropped it, I still actually prefer the Milgauss. The Z Blue yeah, wanted, is incredible. Yeah, I, let, let me just beautiful. let me just let me just say this though. If I didn't get the Z Blue, I would get the Explorer One over the Black Dial Milgauss. That's for sure. I only I got the Z blue because I wanted a blue dial, something that's differentiate yep. from the sub yep. and the GMT. Yeah, oh I think the black dial is probably equal to the thirty nine mil explorer. That's my view. I if, think they're if I had probably... to pick I would have took I would have taken the Explorer one and the black dial over the Milgauss black dial, uh, but I would have taken Z. the Explorer over the Air King, but I love the Air King. The Air King is actually a great watch. The Air King is a great watch. Incredible. It, it it all it all depends. Like I just you know how many black dial watches I like to have a variety. So for me to have the the Z blue just like throws a little a little different you know a little different coloring in the in the mix. You know. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're saying there. I don't know how the 36 would work for me though. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, me and Tim do have. Kind yep. of the same same size wrist. I would like to see what from a head shot, but Tim is teasing us. I'm te I'm prick teasing everybody. You look okay. a little I, bit I think... larger, JJ. I, I'm not sure the 36. No, would work actually, for you. we have same wrist size. No, Doesn't we've matter. Tried on each other's watches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I know. What you're saying, but I'm saying shape. it's like oh, when JJ, when you're back in New York, you'll try it on. You'll see. Mm. Nice. I got to tell you guys seriously. I, I think it's a very beautiful watch. Tim, you're a slim guy, aren't you? You're not fat, are you? I'm actually losing weight. Oh. How much do you I'm weigh? On well, I was 199. Now I'm on 194. Okay. I'm losing the weight, baby. Woo! <laughs> what makes you want to lose the weight? The Explore Tim? 1. I can't wear Explore 1 and be a fat ass. Yeah. Makes no sense. Wearing a small, guy, a small watch and you're... <laughs> Yeah. Was a, no, that's, was a, he didn't look like a heavy guy though. He just he didn't he didn't look like a skinny twig, but he didn't look like a heavy guy. 
No, yeah. no, that's fair enough. Well, Look, hidden, I got it because it was wearing we a puffy jacket. Watches oh. global, watches global level two, five dollars. Mm. Tim, that bezel pops. It does. It does. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I got to be totally honest with you. Um, I, I still think the ten sixteen is the most beautiful explorer of all time. That's my mm. honest view. But I gotta say, Tim, you you've got a you got some really cool pieces, and you. Um, you should be very proud of your collection. You've got to be extremely pleased with what what you've got there. That's it's so hard to get pieces like that. That's they're not easy, man. Very lucky. Struggle, struggle. And. Um, um, you know, you know, I, I, I think, I think the thing is, you gotta have fun with your watches, JJ. Um, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, um, upset at the thirty-six mil. I, I, I think it's, um, I think it's a disappointment, personally. Okay. No, I don't, I, I don't mind. I was it. hoping, I, just, I was both, hoping right? they would do something. I was hoping they would do something more exciting than they did. I was mm. let down, um, mm. but I I do love the explorers. I got and I, I got to tell you something. You know, with these watches there themselves, these are not fashion accessories. Okay, people mm -hmm. lose sight of this. They think, ah, oh, you buy a Rolex because it's a timeless heirloom. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with. That's the whole point in buying Rolex. It's a heirloom that is amazing. It's an absolute showcase watches five pounds. As a Bond fan, the Explorer works for me. I'd hate my Explorer 39 mil as my I'd rate, rate. best. I'd rate my daily. Sorry, I'd rate rate my Explorer 39 mil as my best daily Rolex. Ooh. Easily a one and done watch. Wear it in good health. A hundred percent agree. Very versatile. Very versatile watch. But I gotta okay. say so to you, like... I think I think with Tim. It's good to have some smaller ones, bigger ones, mediums. You want to have some variety in your collection. You don't want just one size. Yeah, that'd be really boring. But that's it. Uh... go. Watches global level two, five bucks. Panel thoughts for two piece and done for a 9.1 inch wrist. 36 date, Justin, 36 Explorer. Go for it. Perfect. Not with a wrist that big. It's 5.9 inch, not 9.9. .9. Six oh, inches. Sorry, What's sorry. Six, six inches. Six inches. That's six sorry, inches. Four one is perfect. That, that's yeah. yeah. That's a that's on the smallest. The new side. You can get away 15. with a lot. Yeah, I say thirty six mil Datejust and a thirty seven mil Yachtmaster. Ooh, no, you don't want to get the thirty seven mil Yachtmaster because that's the lady size. The it's one. it's labeled but as lady size. You could also get the Tudor thirty six Black Bay. Ah. That's a good option. You know what? That's a more di diverse option. That's yeah, the, going uh, in. the, uh, the Explorer and the Day just are a little too close together, at least at mm. that size. 5.9 inch wrist is, is, no offense, I'm not trying to make fun of the guy, but that is like small the very small. It's a standard, like the woman's standard size wrist. 37 Yachtmaster looks the same as the 40. It would be more proportionate. Who cares if it's labeled as the ladies? I mean, that's what it would fit. <laughs> you know what's your wrist? What's your mm. wrist, JJ? No, about seven, maybe a hair under seven inches. Oh. And Eight I'm going to say, I, I've got the same size wrist, just under seven. And when I wear my Thunderbird, yeah, I'm, which is I'm, I'm just 36, under eight. I'm just under eight. But the, whenever I wear my Thunderbird, I find it too small. Hmm. I got to tell you guys, seriously, Doc, Doc, you came late to the show, right? As usual, I am feeling very content here. Just out of interest, Doc, I'll just tell you what you missed on today's show. What you did miss was firstly, you missed the beautiful Porsche that Lolex was driving around in. What? Uh, Lolex was driving Porsche. this 911? That's his dad's. That's his dad's wow. Porsche. Oh, okay. So he's. Yeah. And, uh, they got a nice Damn. home. I got to say, they got a really nice home. That's his mum's ML in the background, by the way. Mm. The ML is his mum's 
very oh, nice ML. Uh, beautiful. I love the blue. I love the Fuchs. Are those Fuchs wheels? Stuff? So should we should we call him L. A. Hisham? Is that is that the deal? <laughs> Are they Fuchs? Are they Fuchs? They look close to it. Yeah. So that's hard to tell in the picture, but yeah, they. It's it's I actually suspect. that's quite a nice house for. The California. car looks original. It doesn't look like it's been Molested. modded. Mm. Yeah, so butchered. I butchered. suspect those are those are real Fuchs. Mm. Okay. Those, those wheels are, are real so i just wanted to show that that's what you missed um well thank you i don't have a 911 so uh you make me yeah. feel good about that the other thing is the other thing i wanted to show you was dark just very quickly there the other thing was dark this was my collection and i kind of think i'm possibly 90 percent full well mm. for now <laughs> no, I'm serious. I I just I'm not looking at like I well, tell I'm, you this now. I'm if I get a Pepsi, too. I'd love a Pepsi. I would love to add a five one seven zero um you know that'd be my grail. I think you always need a grail. You always need a grail. A realistic um, one, and I think that's a realistic one. I don't know. Do you reckon it's realistic? Well, we're talking ten years from now, as 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 Birmingham was pointing out. You know, in ten years, could yeah. you get yourself a fifty one seventy if you really wanted to? Absolutely. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, I kind of look. I'm not saying that there's things I do. in the Rolex range. I love Rolex to be steel. I love my Rolexes in steel. Mm. I really do. I think you have to. Mm. I I think you have to at least try two tone. Everyone should oh, try two tones amazing. Rolex. I didn't. The only thing is, I didn't want the attention. It's a little bit. I'm kind of. I'm getting shyer as I get older. There, so mm. that's I, kind of. So, I'm sorry. I stumbled upon the two tone because I wanted a nipple dial, and uh, so. you, you're a vintage collector. You love your vintage. You love your vintage. Well, that's vintage classic. It's right in that area there. I mean, it's not super old vintage, you know, necessarily. Mm. But I got to tell you, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling I'm happy. I'm content. At the moment, I'm pretty content. Content. I do want to get the LV box, but you know what? I, I want to do it. When it's, I don't want, I don't want it to cause trouble. You know what I, I'm saying? I, I think, I, I think the LV box should be the lowest priority item, really, because yeah. you keep your watches in a bank. In vault a bank safe. Safety. This is so yeah, it, exactly. So what's the exactly. point of having a box anyway, unless it's a decoy? Yeah, no, no, I, I understand, I understand. But I mean, getting another watch is another matter. I, I don't know money. if I feel like you know. I, I would love. I want to ask you guys: What should I? Would I add a Breguet? Would a Breguet add if I added a Breguet chronograph? I don't know if I need that. You've already done that. Yeah, done that a few times. I, I think if you were looking at upgrading the Speedy, I think that would be a, a good option for you. Yeah, Speedy. What would you speedy, upgrade the Speedy uh, to? Well, what he's saying is for, selling for, for your Breguet, Speedy for a Breguet. Yeah. But oh. I, I don't see that as a good move. I think your Speedmaster, the Breguet is I could do closer that. to the Daytona. And the Speedmaster is more of the nice casual. Anytime you you just need to grab a watch and go, you grab it and you go, and you're on your way. And the Speedy doesn't. It's not elitist. It's Speedy. You could be a college. You could be a high school teacher, or you could be an investment banker. It's 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 a non. It's it not threatening. No one will be pissed no. off. You know. Exactly. You could you could walk watch. in with a. You could walk in with an Ed White, and unless somebody yeah. really knows their watches, they just think it's another Speedmaster, and you're right under the radar. Well, it is another right. Speedmaster. But I mean, even if you walked in with an Ed White, no one's pissed off at you. I know, I know what you're saying. They're not upset that, yeah, you're, you're right. Whereas even a Rolex, a Rolex does have that connotation. Does ah, oh, could you really be pissed off about a Milgaus? If you find out it's a Rolex, yes. It's a if you're Rolex. A non -watch, you're a non-watch person. You find out it's a Rolex. Now you're pissed. 
What do average people think is a lot of money for a watch? Five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars? I asked my father how much he thought yes. I paid for my day just, and he yes. said a thousand. He said, uh, "I." He said a thousand dollars. I said wow. higher. He looked at me like I was an idiot. Right. Wow. So he said fifteen hundred dollars. I said a little higher, and so wow. they think a thousand bucks is a ton of money for watches. Did you tell him what you spent or not? I did. I did. What did you say? I said, uh, you know, I've it came to about ninety cents. <laughs> Keep in mind, your grandfather husband. might be thinking about buying a when he bought a house for a thousand dollars. Yeah, a, my father's you know, my father grew up very poor, very very poor. So oh, when I, I tell I'm him sorry. when I tell him that a you know ninety five hundred bucks on a you know after taxes on a on a watch, he was just like, "You're nuts!" Looked at me like I had three heads. Hmm. Have you explained yeah. to him cryptocurrency yet? Our next next move. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've talked about that. He, he and Ars, I are can completely I, aligned on that. Yeah. Can I just tell you, I bought a Seiko's worth of Ethereum, and now I have a day date's worth of Ethereum. Very cool. Very a nice. A grand Seiko's or or, or a no, Seiko no. five? It, it was just a it was just a joke, but he just bought a hundred and came out with five thousand. But you know, the truth is, seriously, can you keep making these ridiculous returns on this crap? No, no, well, you got to pull, you got to pull out at some point. I mean, the, you know. yeah, the problem is people have lost money on it too. They don't, they don't brag about it as much. You can't pull out I, because I, they got you by the balls. That's quite the visual. Tim, I have, thing. Yeah, I, have, I, I, I know. I've met more people that have lost a million on crypto than have become millionaires on their crypto investments. Yeah, yeah. you know what? So I said that again. I, out of my friends that are like millionaires, none of them made yes. their fortune on crypto. But I've known people that had that were a millionaire that overinvested in crypto on the last time it tanked, mm -hmm. and they're no longer millionaires. Yeah. Damn. Well, if they would have held it, they'd be they'd have three million. <laughs> well, of course, no no one's planning on buying high and selling low. They just sure. the college would find themselves there. Two pounds. I'm wrong. LV not needed. Quality inside important. Yes. There you go. So yeah, I, I tell you, I really like the inside of your box, Arch. I like this a lot. It's just beautiful. Ooh, awesome. Somebody's so, gonna take that phrase there and make fun of it. Just look, saying. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I would still. I I like the LV box. I'm not anti the LV box. Okay. I am actually. I tell you what. I'm gonna do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think of this, guys. I don't have, look, I got two mortgages, an investment house and our own house. So we've got a mortgage on each. Okay, that's mm. cheap 2% money. Mm. I got a little bit of consumer credit, which I need to take care of. Okay, but you know what? I still got the Honda. I'm not going to go crazy. I, I want to seriously, I, I think realistically, if I can get the LV box in the next couple of years, I'll get it. But that's about it, really. I, I, I think as far as the watch front goes, if I can get the Pepsi, I'd love the Pepsi. But me, I think sometimes you've got to know when you're sort of done. You know, ask, Ari, what do you think, Ari? So let me ask let me ask you something here. I've got a slightly different question. How do you reconcile the collection as it is right now, given probably a lot of it doesn't get the risk, the appropriate risk time? And how do you no. justify having them around? And again, I'm speaking from a position of being a little bit more conservative, which is sort of where my angle. And so I'm curious. Look, no, well, the thing is, is that I've always wanted these paddocks. Mm. I've always wanted a string of them. And they are mine. I control them. I want to wear them. I can wear them. Fair. So for me... The Padex make up for a lot of mistakes selling vintage Rolex. They're beautiful watches. Don't get me wrong. I, yeah, I, I kind of think the Padex, the classics, i got a couple. I don't have... This collection is quite modest. This is a middle-class man. This is not a super collection. This is my livelihood, too. You know, I do the YouTube, so I've probably mm. got proportionally a lot more money than normal people would have... You've it's, just put it um, in watches. You've just put it in the watches. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. look, they're not terrible. I, oh. I think 
to be honest with you, when I had six Padex, that might have been a bit too much in Padex and no Rolex. So we've retweaked it a bit. And um, maybe I got the Tudor as filler because Rolex is so painfully expensive. A little bit of short-term filler. But um, no, I, I tend to think, you know, Burbing Hard. Let me ask you this, Burbing Hard. Hello, Burbing Hard. Yeah. You know, the number of millionaires in that there, it's no longer... When I was a kid, the house... I lived in this house when I was a kid. This house was about 70,000 when I was in primary school. When I was in high school, it was about 100 and something thousand. Hmm. 120, 130,000. Now the house is half a million. Yeah, the term millionaire. Being a millionaire today is. is not the same as being a millionaire when we were kids. Can you see that, Burbing Hart, or not? Yes, but I know a lot of middle class people, and not many of them have four paddocks, Arch. <laughs> yeah, but they may There's not nothing be, wrong they, with having a, a dress watch, though. There's nothing they wrong may with not be paddock one. people, but one. Burbing Hart. One. Yeah, none, they none may of my not be class friends. paddock people. My, my, my middle class friends are not paddock people. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah, but they might have a brand new SUV out the front. Yeah, that's true. I that's got a, a Honda that's Civic. Hobby there is. The, the, I the got a Honda Civic out. with 196,000 kilometers. I just put another scrape, really nasty scrape on the front. <laughs> Doing yeah, what? Character. Doing what? We, we I was sliding just, across the hood. No, I was just arch. getting out of a car park. Then the angle, I, oh, I, I anyhow, that doesn't, that doesn't mm. even get me started. <laughs> I, I'm like you with cars, by the way. I'm I like hate... you with cars. Drive it until it's in the ground. Okay, is Drive it is it just me, or are parking slots just way too small, though, in like a ton of public parking areas? Yeah, but I drive a Honda mm. Civic. It's a small car. Yeah. It's not an SUV. I got to tell you, honestly, I think, look, these a lot of these pieces here, these paddocks were got when they were considerably less. Hmm. You know what I mean? Do you know anybody who has a paddock, Birmingham? Let's ask that question. Not like not like good friends that that would own it. Like friends, like maybe friends' parents. I think is more. Hmm. What's the like best that watch that your friends, amongst your friends, besides your, yourself, what is the best watch your friends have? Uh, I have one buddy that just got a, a, a paddock um, like two weeks ago. What wow. did yellow, yellow, yellow gold birth year. Um, it's a, I think it's an annual calendar. I don't know the, the reference number off the top of my head. Not one that I would get, but it's it in the, in the, the, the crazy thing is, is that it was a, the, the watch, the cell date on the watch is his actual birthday. Wow. So well, like not only a birth he? year, but a, a, how old a born is he? In, uh, born in uh, 83. Okay. That can't mm. be an annual calendar because they didn't come out to yeah. the mid nineties. It mm. It's a perpetual calendar. Oh, I don't know. And I, and I'm not in a spot where I can, I can pull up his, where I can pull yeah. up his Instagram right now. Yeah, that's okay. But okay, so that's why did he get it? Did he how did he know about Paddock? He's uh I mean he's he's more into watches than me. Like he's he, he's actually wow. a, probably the friend that probably inspired me to get into it uh several years ago. Mm. So he's just he's just four years further down the collection journey. Style collector, five bucks, gorgeous collection arch. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. DC in L V. This Two bucks. The service costs on the, of that bottom row. Ouch! So, yeah. what is the service cost? How much have you serviced these any of these watches? Yeah, I serviced the first two. Then I've completely broke and buying clothes from Lowe's. Broke. What happened? Focused. Three Ethereum's. Three Ethereum's. Three yeah. So I've three. spent so far in Aussie yeah. dollars because I had to. Don't forget too. I had to buy new straps because they came because right. I bought them second hand. So, where do you want me to tell you how much I spent so far or not? I'm curious. Mm -hmm. 
You said this yesterday. It's yeah. not just about buying the Porsche. It's the maintenance on top of it that you got to Yeah, work. yeah. I, I'd say it's probably about 7,000 servicing <laughs> too and some straps. Hmm. So this, this, is, this is Aussie. Ouch. Aussie. So what's that? Five US? Probably, yeah. So this is the calculus that I was using when saying, you know, thinking that you had too many watches in your collection. Yeah, That's what I was thinking about. You know what? Mm. It's like a... You can just drive it into the barn and let someone else look at it later. It's a, you, know you know what? what I, true. You're right. Aren't you? You're right. You know, you know what I mean? I, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't. These are, don't have to be daily beaters. And look, uh, this, this, these here. There's no really fu watches here. I've, these are very subtle pieces. Do you think there's an fu watch? What's it? There's no fu here. By an FU watch, you mean a, a very out there watch? Yeah. Like a Shelly watch? Yeah, mm -hmm. like a gold sub or even the paddocks are very delicate and what? subtle. I said at the beginning, you have good taste. And I agree. And I stand by it. You have good taste. These are decent watches and they're not, yeah. they're not uh, out there. Flashy. They're yeah, not they're look not at me there. sort of things. They're. But I got to tell you, I, I don't think, but you got to buy what makes you happy. You know, like Tim got that 36. He got it because he <laughs> loves it. He, you're buying it. And, and I got to be honest with you. I think in Tim's case, if I was Tim's age and Tim's weight, I reckon that'd be perfect watch. Yes. I but think Tim's on the edibles great. though. Tim's, Tim's oh, not yeah. a liar. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, go on, Burbing Hart. Well, I was going to say, when you're, when you're just at home, alone fantasizing about yep. luxury goods do you yeah. do you think more about watches you don't have or a car like a car that you'd be interested in, or, or maybe that lv box because you've collected pens you've collected luggage you've collected a lot of luxury things so do you spend as, as much time still thinking about watches or do you is it time that you, you also look at getting into other things more seriously yeah, that's a cool, very cool question. Look, I got to be honest with you. I suppose I look at it and think, you know what? I've always loved cars. I always look at cars. I read a lot of classic car magazines. Mm -hmm. It's funny. You look at the, I say, you know, if I sold three of those, I could get this. Hmm. At the moment, the car market is crazy. So I look at it and go, oh my God, I don't want to pay retail. But when cars were discounted, I got to be honest with you. I came this close to actually getting some car, but you know what? I, I don't regret my, my, who I am is not determined by the car in the car park. Okay. My identity, like a Rolex doesn't make you cool. Cool. Many cool people wear Rolex. But a Rolex does not make you cool. Mm -hmm. I got to be honest with you. What do I look at? I suppose, you know, I, I like looking at watches. I look at, I don't, but I don't feel I want to add something. There's nothing I feel is missing. Like a friend tells me he got something. I think, oh, that's good. I got enough. I'm not looking at sites for sale. I do look at cars, but now they're so expensive. Luxury goods. But 10 years from now. A Pepsi comes along, a Batman comes along. Yeah. Those might those might get your attention. Jordan Von Koff, fifteen dollars. Jaden Bolkoff, fifteen dollars. Keep the tutor. I have the same one coming in. Would you consider it two tone? No, no. I I I I really love steel. I find two tone a bit flashy. I don't. And I want... wouldn't get the two tone of those. I'd I'd go to a fifty eight. It has enough gilt in it. That's yeah, enough. I kind of don't like Tudor in two tone because Tudor doesn't use real gold. They're they're sort of rolled gold. It's like some basically it's... plated. Well, then they've got a big chunk of gold, but it's it, it, look. It's just not the same as you buy a Tudor if you can't afford. It's like getting a Chevrolet with all the equipment. You're supposed to get the Cadillac. The base model Cadillac is better than a fully loaded Chevy. It's like getting a GMC instead of an Escalade. Yeah. That's a good uh, good analogy. Mm -hmm. Um. So tell me, Arch, when you're 
deciding on your watch collection, the size of the collection, yeah. you don't just have luxury watches. You have luxury bags. You have other things. And so just should that all come into play when you're making those buying decisions? Again, I look at your luxury portfolio, you know, as a thing. I got to be honest with you. I, I had, I actually got rid of a lot of stuff. How many bags do I really need? Mm -hmm. I've yeah. got one briefcase. That's enough. Right. I've got one suitcase. My wife has a suitcase. The Birkins. I, they're her Birkins. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. So, you know, not so she, she likes those. Mm -hmm. I, I got to be honest with you. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I got the Birkins for her is that I kind of got enough fun things for me. Gotcha. Maybe it's not always about me. So you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you can always, no matter what I found is, no matter how many you have, you always want more, 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 more. And I think sometimes you get enjoyment. She was never really into them. She liked bags. That's her thing. She doesn't like, that's the thing. So I kind of, with my pens and that, I sold out. I just got enough to use. Mm -hmm. I got two fountain pens and a couple. So I don't have the hoard that I, I would have had before. So I got to be honest with you. I think I don't really want unnecessary things. Does that make sense? sense yeah guys we're gonna wrap this baby up i want to thank you for coming on and uh congratulations tim thank congratulations you congratulations on the shoot so the 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 explorer one i think it's beautiful you know what i said this to somebody with my paddocks i got some smaller hmm. ones like the the smallest wearing one would be the the annual then i hmm. got the world time is kind of medium and then the 5196, that's a biggie. Right? So you got mm. some variety. You don't want all yeah. the same. You, you know what I mean? You want smaller, bigger, you, different moods. Yeah. And uh, that's what I love with the Rolex. I got a 40 mil mil gauss, 41 mil sub, and a 42 mil uh, Explorer 2. Mm. It's good variety. And you don't want all the same size. You know, you want to some days you want smaller some days you want bigger so i gotta say in all honesty i'm pretty happy with that i think you gotta gotta um gotta just focus on that there but um guys it's great having you on great chatting Thank happy you, collecting i've sack i tell you honestly i've i've uh i think you gotta realize you don't just need to continually buy. This is the thing. That's what I don't like about Basel World and these watches and wonders. It's not a fashion parade where they release a new model. Everything before is junk. These are classic things. They're classics. Um, they are timeless. Mm -hmm. And they will, you buy them because they don't date and they're not out of fact. They're just beautiful things. I think people yeah. lose sight. Oh, yeah. They're not incented to make them iconic, though. They're incented to make you want the, More. Next, the new the new shiny. Mm, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night, everybody. Any like, live shows, Tim? Tim, Tim yeah, any right. live shows? Yeah, I'm gonna do a live show in 15 minutes. There Just we a go. Quick one. 